Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Good Days Podcast. It's your girl, Katisha Marie. What's up? What's poppin'? What's good? How are y'all doing today? Today is technically Good Friday, so I hope you guys are having a good Friday. And for those of you that celebrate Easter as well, hope you guys do enjoy it this weekend. It's gonna be a great weekend. I believe it. You got to have faith in that. You got to believe it. Believe it to be true. Whether you had a bad week, just believe that these two days are going to give you some type of peace. Believe it. So, yes, we are going to discuss some things today. Basically, we're going to celebrate. Today, it's all about celebration. It's about celebrating oneself. Before we get into that, Let's get into the weekly updates. So, I woke up this morning and I saw a false rumor. I knew it was false from jump. But basically, they were saying that Rihanna and ASAP Rocky had split due to uh, infidelity. Now, not that it is anyone's business, not even a little bit. But shit was stirred this week due to spreading of rumors regarding Rihanna and ASAP Rocky's relationship. And namely, it was alleged that the two had split up due to inf- infidelity. Um, according to TMZ, a uh, rumor dispelling insight from a source said to be directly connected to Rihanna and Rocky, saying that this is 100% false. So basically, they were saying that, um, well, the rumor was that Amina Muadi was like the in the middle of all this um she was supposedly seeing rocky on the side and amina also came out and said that that's not true you know and it's crazy that we live in a society where people feel the need to let me quote exactly what she said so she said unfortunately living in a society that is so quick to speak on topics regardless of factual basis she also reflected on how the falsehoods were negatively affecting three people all at once. And it's true. Like, mind y'all business. Y'all always want to stir something up. Let them be. She's happy. She's eating her tangerines with her salt. Let her live. We don't need to be in a business right now. Let her be. Let them be. And I knew for a fact this was false because Aesop Rocky was the first one to come out and said, like, yo, Rihanna is the one. Like, for a man to come out and say, yo, I really found the one, there's no reason for him to be outside cheating with nobody. There's no reason for him to step out of his relationship. And it is what it is. So now that we got that cleared up, I'm just going to say, like, I'm happy for them either way. Mind your business, period. So today, I did say we are getting into celebrating ourselves, right? So let's celebrate the endings celebrating the breakups celebrating the milestones and the goals that we made in our lives celebrating coming this far and not giving up giving time to celebrate yourself because you deserve it yes we all deserve it we all deserve to be celebrated even if no one else is going to celebrate us we got to celebrate ourselves and this is a time more than ever to celebrate your wins If you have to be selfish in the process, then so be it. Because you're not entitled to please everyone. Just say your piece and let it be. 
but really and truly celebrate you. We tear ourselves down and become an imposter. Yes, an imposter. We become this falsehood of we have to be great. Or if we're not great, we're bad. If we're not good, we're the worst. So we've become imposters, putting up this mask that we are something that we're not. And there's a thing called imposter syndrome. Yes, guys, imposter syndrome is real. So to put it simple, imposter syndrome is the experience of feeling like a phony. You feel as though at any moment you're going to be found out as a fraud. Like you don't belong where you are and you only got there because of dumb luck. No, you worked. You bust your ass to get to where you needed to be. Don't ever think that you got there because some magic happened but also fate does play a tie to it and that's the fate in yourself the belief in yourself that i can do something and a lot of us have that imposter syndrome where we feel like we are not enough or we don't amount to anything and it was just luck you know um if i can do it anybody can do it yeah but not everybody is doing it So the fact that you actually took the time to do something that's going to better yourself should be a win. Listen, all we need is W's at this point. Fuck taking the L's, only W's. That is the goal for 2022. We only searching for those W's. That's it, we're tired of taking L's. So these are some ways where you can tell if you have imposter syndrome. When you start comparing yourself doubting your skills or talent, saying things like, I lucked out. If I can do it, anyone can. Now, all that could be true, but face value is you had the fire burning in you to make things possible. And that's not an imposter. That is faith working through you. We all do it, doubt ourselves, and we should always take it into account that we deserve to be where we are. Like I like to say, God's plan. Believe it or not, it's the truth. Every experience you had was a lesson to be learned so you can move forward and teach. Learning how to cope with it and be better. Yes, we are here through faith, through God. We are here with a purpose. Some of us do not know what our purpose is, but it's all about the journey of trying to find out what it is. And it's just going with flow, living through it, just going through it, learning through the pain, growing through the pain and learning from it so you can get those wins and celebrate yourself the way you should. Now, here are some tips so that you can overcome it, not let it overpower you. This is for you to, you know, grow a little bit, learn something here. So here are some tips. Separate feelings from the facts. And when those imposter feelings come along, recognize these things and know what they are and know that they are not true take notes of your accomplishments be grateful be happy at how far you have come stop comparing comparing is the thief of joy it does not make you better or less than anyone it's about finding your own way and enjoying it we all try to compare each other by the lifestyle we see on instagram and you scrolling and you see all these people taking all these trips you don't know how they got there you don't know what they did to get those those um ends to go on those trips you don't know and you probably wouldn't want to know because it's probably not even legal for all we know also what you can do is talk to someone someone you can confide in if you must seek professional help i would advise a self-development coach or a therapist Find someone you can speak to that you can really trust and talk about how you can be a better person for yourself. Take it easy on yourself, love. It's okay. At this age, learning to celebrate the past happening the way it did, I went through some things to make me the person I am today. And to answer the question of who I am, I can say this. I'm a woman who is strong, ambitious, spontaneous, genuine, raw, but I do truly love to help people. I'm a woman that is willing to help others get through the challenges that they might have. I never got the blueprint and I'm pretty much sure no one has ever got to talk about how to be a woman or how to be a man. And that's the hardest part, not knowing how to be one. 
But over the years, I've learned mostly by watching others and observing, taking some of the things that I've learned and use what, what worked for me. And I wish I could go back and tell the younger me that it's okay. Just give her a hug and just tell her it's not over yet. So forgetting the past is easy for me to say, but for me learning what it is and learning from it to make me better just makes me more better, period. <laughs> it really does. Um, I've, I've always put myself in this box where I feel like I haven't made it enough. I haven't like made it to the point where I really wanted to make it to. I feel like I've just made it just to that point. And I feel like if I get out of the box of thinking like I just made it just a little bit above water and actually say I can actually swim further and keep that momentum that listen I can swim further than where I'm at right now and can't drown then I know that I've made it the fact that I can change my mind and change the thoughts that I have about feeling like I'm just there this is just enough and going further swimming just swimming just keep going no matter how tired I get just keep going just keep flowing I know that I'm on the verge of getting my wins. I'm tired of taking L's. So I'm gonna celebrate the good, the bad, and take everything all in, learning from it all, and knowing that enough is just not enough in terms of what I want to accomplish in my life. I'm not ahead of anybody, I'm just on my own timing. So for me to get out of the imposter syndrome and for everybody else to get out of the imposter syndrome is just to understand that everything happens in its own timing, divine timing. And when it's your time to be ahead of the game, then it's your time. You're not behind, you're not ahead, you're on your time. So I just have to understand that when it's my time, oh, I'm gonna blossom like a flower. I'm going to bloom like a flower. And when people see that, oh, wow, this is what you were doing all this time, then you're going to say, yeah. And here, guess what? I can teach you something that you might have not learned. And I can help you to catch up in something else or help you to make life more easier for you as well. Because this is how I learned how to struggle or this is how I learned how to cope with certain things. Everything that we do is a learning experience so we can teach others. We are here to learn to teach. That is the purpose. We are here to learn from our humanistic experience in order for us to teach others. So if I'm going to be in the process of doing that, then I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna keep on swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I'm just gonna keep on swimming. I'm not gonna just say, oh, I'm just gonna work a job just to stay above water, or I'm going to do this with my life just to stay ahead. No, I'm just gonna go with the journey with a flow that I'm just on the right timing and the right divine timing. That's how I'm gonna live my life. And that's how I think that everybody else should live theirs. Don't think that you're, you're behind, because you're not, you're not, you are right on time in your own time. For real. You are. And I don't wanna I don't wanna want anyone to ever feel discouraged about certain things in their lives. Oh, why is this happening to me? We all have that sense of saying that, oh, why is this happening to me? Why? It's happening for a legitimate reason. It's a way of God telling you to wake up. I have something for you. Are you ready for it? That's what it's simply saying. Are you ready for it? And you just have to be ready and willing and able. And when you are willing and able, you will say these things. I have three, th I have this, this phrase in my head that I wanna tell you guys. It is, I will, I can, I must. This is, this is something, well, I heard about on this um, YouTube video where this lady, I forgot her name, but um, she was talking about how to become financially independent. And she used this phrase, I wish I knew her name, but she used this phrase, I will, 
I can and I must. And I felt like it spoke to me in so many ways. So if you want something, you're going to say, I will be financially independent. I can be financially independent and I must be financially independent. So with that saying of I will, I can, I must, you're going to continue with that that mindset of I'm going to do what I need to do with with whatever whatever I have. The little that I have, I'm going to make it do. The most that I have, I'm going to make it do. So I will, I can, and I must. Always keep that in mind. I will do something, I can do something, I must do it. That's it. Always keep that in mind. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, this app, too, as well. It's called the Pattern App. And I know some of you guys probably have heard of it. Some of you haven't. But the Pattern App is basically an astrological app that provides you with information about yourself and those around you simply through creating a profile for each individual. You create a profile by entering an individual's birth chart information, such as their name, their birth date, the time, and the place. So this app, I have a love and hate situation with this app because it tells me about myself and certain things that I don't want to know. Like, it's just too real (laughs) for me. Like, it tells me how I am in certain relationships with people, how I go about relationships that I kind of dive into it too quickly without really getting to know the person it it really talks about um me as a driven person that always like to do something motivated and stuff like that like it's so surreal how it just really defines me to the point where I really want to delete this app but I'm not because it gives me an idea of my triggers it gives me an idea of things that i need to work on as well so this is why i kind of like that app because it kind of gives me a ding hey you know this is what you do when you're in a relationship or this is how you perceive people when you meet them and i'm like okay cool thanks for reminding me but (laughs) it goes and ties with also this episode is about treating yourself right and sometimes you do need to hear the truth Sometimes we try not to to listen to the truth or whatever the case may be, but we sometimes do need to listen. We do need to hear certain things to make us realize that hey, you're you're, you're fucked up. You know, you're, you're fucking up. So I like this. I like this app. So if you guys do decide to download the app today, it's called the Pattern App. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me how it's useful for you. If you do use it, tell me how it's been useful for you. And how you've been utilizing it. Because I I just get the pop-ups. And I just read them from time to time. Like on, on a daily basis. It will pop up on my phone. And I would just read about it. And I'll just be like, oh yeah, this is how I feel today. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're on point. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys do use the app, let me know. Let me know how that works out. Um, also, there's some new music this weekend. So I'm definitely going to check out um, Tiana Taylor's Studio B this weekend. She has a new album out. If you guys haven't heard, yeah, she does. Uh, So yeah, I'm going to check that out and see how it is and come back to you guys and tell you my reviews about it. But I've been listening to a lot of UK R&B. A lot. Like, it's really good. I've been listening from Tiana Major at 9, Ray Black. This song by Flo called Cardboard Box is a bop. That song is a bop. It's just a lot of good tunes, yeah? And I love it. I fucking love it. It's just like UK R&B music for me right now is the wave. So, yeah, I'm just going to be listening to some music this weekend, getting into some some stuff work stuff work related stuff you know got to keep my mind focused got to keep my mind active at least so yeah and also it's easter so for those like i said for those of you that celebrate i hope you enjoy and stay safe hope you eat a lot of food um yeah just 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 stay strong people (laughs) and as you know i always like to end my episode with a quote so today's quote is If you find someone who makes you smile, 
who checks up on you often to see if you're okay, who watches out for you and wants the best for you, who loves and respects you, don't let them go. People like that are hard to find. And that's by friends, Kafra. And yeah, that's true. If that if that person keeps you keep you smiling and keep you on your toes, don't let that person go. Keep that person real close. Real, real close. And as always, I'm sending love and light.